Good morning, it is travel day. Um, I haven't got a transfer book, so I'm just kind of going off my own timetable. It's about quarter past nine, and I fly at one o'clock, I think, so I'm gonna get going now, but the airport's only about six minutes away, so there's no stress anyway. I'm all packed, let's go. Just waiting for my taxi to come and pick me up. It's 159 baht to the airport. That is so, so cheap. Like, that's cheaper than like, I don't even know how to describe it. So it's three pounds, 54 pence to get to the airport. I'm too early to check in. So I just stood in the queue for about 20 minutes, to check my bag in and he was like, you're too early, you can't do it, you need to come back. So I've got 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna read my book and have a drink. So in this airport, you have to check your own like luggage in. Like they've weighed it and then you've got to put it through security. Very weird. I've just arrived at the hotel and I'm checking in and they've brought me this unusual blue substance and I don't know if I'm meant to drink it or... have arrived at my room. It's lovely. Massive bed, which always makes me happy. The spa looks and smells amazing. So I might have a massage whilst I'm here. Little fridge massive mirror and then this is the bathroom um which is quite big and then in here is like a wardrobe which is strange between the bathroom but they've got like a beach bag with towels in for you to take how cute is that i'm starving so i'm gonna get some food because i've eaten all day and it's about five o'clock now i didn't realize how far away the hotel was from the airport so that's on me just ordered some room service i'm gonna read my book probably finish my book even though i really don't want to um and then go to bed if I'm being honest, I don't want to go out and explore. Like, look, I can show you. See, the pool's right there. It's lovely here, but I'll show you tomorrow because I haven't got anything booked for tomorrow, so I'm just gonna like chill around the hotel. So that's my plan. <sighs> this is so nice. This actually looks really nice, but it's very small so i'm probably gonna have to order more it's quite a few hours later now um i just ordered a tikka how beautiful does that look i got some naan bread and some chips and some fanta and i'm just gonna watch gossip girl and go to bed so good night good morning it is extreme raining there's somebody in the pool love that what a, what a vibe i have no i have no plans <laughs> I have no plans today. I was just going to chill and read my book by the pool. So I'll wait for it to lighten up a bit and then head out, I guess. I've had to come out for a walk because I've actually run out of cash and you can't get room service and pay with card. But my phone's only on 10% and I didn't bring a charger. So I'm trying not to go too far from the hotel. We're just looking for a cash point. I haven't found an ATM, but I found a 7-Eleven. So I'm going to try a toasty. Got some Pringles. I'm going to get some snacks. Success. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up like how low the clouds are, but either I'm really high in the mountains or they're really low. It's still raining. Um, but that toasty I just got is beautiful. So big up 7-Eleven. This is my hotel. It's really nice. I'll show you the inside now. So there's elephant pools and then this is inside. It's lovely. This is like a little coffee shop. It's closed now, it's after 5 p.m. And then you've got main reception area there. Um, pools behind there with like a little outside area as well, I guess. And then this is the restaurant, but my room's past that. And then this is the spa. Obviously it's a spa, you get massages and stuff. It smells lovely. Little waiting area. I get 20% off as a hotel guest. I really don't want to walk down here. <laughs> I'm going to get drenched. Oh, it's hot. Good morning. So yes, there was a complete write-off, um, but the weather seems a bit better today. So I'm going to go and investigate breakfast. I cannot see. I got eggs, toast, pancakes, potatoes, hash brown, tea, orange juice. So I'm going to go back and get a croissant, I think. So I'm waiting for my taxi driver to pick me up to take me to the old town. Um, I was going to get a bike, but after doing some further research into it, I just really don't think I'm going to be safe. It says you need good, like, core 
stability, which I definitely don't for a 40 minute drive. So we're getting a, ta a taxi. It's only cost me 13 quid. Okay, so the old town is just shops basically, which is not really at my street. They have got pretty buildings, but apart from that, it's just a load of clothes shops. I'm just gonna have a browse, but I don't think I'm gonna buy anything. So I need to get money out for my taxi and he's full on just let me walk away to go and get it which I find a bit bizarre to be honest but I mean if he trusts me then he trusts me I guess. Okay this is how you cross the street watch. Okay so taxi's all paid for so I'm gonna go back to the 7-eleven and get a toasty because literally so nice can't even describe um and then i think i'm gonna read another book and chill by the pool for today because i've been to the buddha i've been to the old town just done a bit of exploring and then tomorrow i've got a boat trip if the weather what's the word allows it if the weather allows it i guess i think i've just like severely underestimated how much recovery time i need after doing things like so hardcore here's my dinner so I got two fries because I'm fat. Um, yep, there's no other reason. I could have had rice or naan bread, but I thought, no, I want fries. And then I got curry and I got two Fantas. The guy was so, so nice. The past time that I've had food service here, they've come in and they've like shut the door and it's made me really, really anxious. But today, like the door started closing and he made sure he held it open. He was really, really nice. So I, I instantly feel 10 times better about ordering room service. So yeah, this is my dinner. So I woke up today feeling quite unwell. <laughs> I was meant to be going on a boat trip and I had to obviously not go. Um, so I'm just gonna pack today because obviously I'm, I'm, I'm meant to be on a trip tomorrow. How cute is that? Love that. Yeah, so I'm gonna pack when I go back to the room now. I'm just popping out. Um, my throat is really sore, so I'm gonna get um, an ice drink. Hi. I cut the camera off, obviously. I'm gonna get an ice drink from Cafe Amazon and then some toasties from the 7-Eleven. And uh, that's my plan, I think. Hopefully I feel better before tomorrow. But if not, I'm fine chilling by the pool. Okay, so first stop is Cafe Amazon, which is by here. Yummy. <laughs> right, now we are off to 7-Eleven to get some toasties and some snacks. I love this for me. I'm getting a basket today and we're gonna have a nice little browse and get a load of rubbish, I feel. I get thin, just a load of useless makeup and we can try it out and have like a little spa night. That sounds like a shout. Right, I'm gonna get some stuff. Got my toasties. I bought so much for me and Finn. I just spent 32 quid. That's the most I spent all the day. I'll show you when I get back to the hotel now. Okay, so I got us headbands, one each, one purple, one pink thought they were cute and then this is a royal detoxification foot patch um which looks really fancy it's quite ex like not expensive but the most expensive of everything so i got us those i got us an eye mask which this is really small so but it feels it's obviously going to fold out i got nutella biscuits and then i got one for owen and evan as well because i thought they might quite like that so um, i think it's lip gloss but everything comes in like these packets it's really weird i might go and get some more to be honest um you get these at every 7-eleven for whatever you buy and you can trade them to get discount and stuff i've just been binning mine because i'm not great with stuff like that i got these kinder tronkies i've never seen these before so i got one for me and finn and then one each for owen and evan and then i got us these glowy gel tint lip things just because i thought they would be cute and then we can watch a movie and try out all my thailand things how fun feeling up for the boat trip this morning um it's about one 
now, I think. Um, look at this spot. Look how, oh my God. It's so bad. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go for a walk, I think, down to the shops and the beach. I just have a little bit of an explore. And yeah, I'm not punishing myself too badly for not being able to go on my day trips because at the end of the day, I've had like an amazing time. And I think I've just, everything's caught up to me and I'm feeling it. So I packed last night. Packed, all ready to go. So I'm gonna go and inquire about the, the massage and see how much the massages. I've taken tablets. I've got, um, what's it called? This is lip balm, but it smells like Vicks. So I'm hoping it's gonna help me breathe a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's go on a little explore. See what, see what Tuesday has to offer. It's so painful. <laughs> okay, let's go, come on. I even had my bag packed for my boat trip today with my towel and, <coughs> and everything. Oh, right, wait, so what have we got on you? Poncho, keep. Selfie stick, yeah, fine. I'm gonna put my purse in there. Purse. I can fully appreciate that the last, like, this whole vlog, this whole last portion of the vlog is just gonna be me shopping and complaining about being ill so thanks for sticking with me <laughs> right key card because i keep forgetting that it's actually some blue sky today this is like the best weather we've had the entire time i've been on this part of the island southern island southern island you know what i mean can't get over how nice a day it is this would have been a perfect day for a boat trip my luck just my luck look how beautiful this is oh my god I do wish I was a beach girly, but I'm already uncomfortable with the sand in my shoes. I hate it. I am going to touch the water, but I'm not going to go all the way in because obviously I'm on my own. And it's a bit difficult to go in on my own. No swimming here. Oh my god. Oh my god. The water is so warm. Like, extremely warm. Oh my god. So the only mission I have for myself for today is to find a pair of those tourist trousers that everybody wears. That's all I want. So I'm on the lookout for a cheapy little shop that sells them. Just got escorted across the road by the police. Um, because apparently that's what they do over here. I was like, okay, this is weird. Um, I'm walking towards the shopping center in the hopes that I'm gonna find what I want. So fingers crossed. Also, I don't know if I showed you, but these evacuation routes are everywhere for the, if there's a tsunami which doesn't freak me out at all. These shopping malls just honestly are so huge. I just came out of that building, which was massive, like four floors. And then I've come out and they've got like the garden, the botanica, they've got all different, the jungle, all different sections. It's so big. So we just had Burger King. I'm gonna explore downstairs and then I think I'm gonna head back to the hotel. And I'm probably gonna go for a swim to be honest, cause it's early enough in the day that it's quite warm. Um, if there's any sunbeds available because it's been really busy around the pool. There's a load of Australians, so they're obviously just here for like 7 Eleven. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Got my ice cream, I got my clothes, and going back to the hotel. I feel a bit better, you know. I know I'll feel worse when I sit down, but right now I feel okay. Can you see my spot? It's huge. This is the fit. I wanted to travel home in these, that's why I wanted them, because they're gonna be so comfortable. Um, and yeah, so I'm all packed up. Weather looks really nice outside, which is typical. Um, so I'm gonna go check out, <coughs> I'm gonna go walk down to the 7-Eleven, get a drink, get something to eat, and then come back and probably just read my book. I don't get picked up till four, and it's only about 11, I think. Um, but I'm not sure what time checkout is. I think checkout's 12, but like I said, I'm not sure, so let's go. my favourite sound ever. <laughs> I know obviously I haven't done much for the past few days, so I feel like all I'm going to have done is talk about this spot, but I'm here and I'm talking about it again because <laughs> I'm in pain. Um, so I'm going to go check out the spa now, see how much it is. I love these pants, they're going to be so comfortable to travel. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to check out the spa 
and if not I'm just going to read my book but I don't know it depends like if they've got aircon or not because if they haven't got aircon then I'm just going to be warm and uncomfortable rather than like relaxed so we'll see I have never ever been so happy to get to an airport. It's ten past six. I bored at ten past seven. So let's hope there's no queues. There is no queue. Praise the baby Jesus. Air Asia, Landed in Abu Dhabi and it's so quiet. It's like a library. It's a brand new terminal. So it's really quiet. I'm in TJ Fridays. I'm so happy. This irritates me in an airport. You know people are going to want to lie down. Why are you doing that? This plane is much bigger than anyone. one. I've got a little remote for the screen. Look at the plane. It's got two engines. Can you see? One, two. That's the wing. I can't even get it in shot. It's so big. These cameras. 